Next, day two of disruption to NHS services across the capital as junior doctors continue their four-day walkout in their dispute with the government over pay. While thousands of patients are having planned operations and appointments postponed as a result. Well, to give you an idea of the impact, when junior doctors went on strike for three days in March, just over 4,000 planned inpatient procedures needed to be rescheduled in London. A further 45,000 outpatient appointments also needed to be rearranged. Well, despite the disruption, many patients do support the strike, as Thomas McGill has been finding out. Working from home, but today should have been very different for Jimmy, who was due to be in hospital. So I had a planned procedure that was going to be at Queen Mary's. It's a regular procedure that I have every few months and it's now been cancelled and rescheduled for two weeks time which is going to leave me in considerable discomfort until they're able to do it but equally i think quite frankly that the junior doctors are doing the right thing by striking and i fully support them he's like thousands of others as junior doctors across the capital continue to strike in a dispute over pay and working conditions <laughs> Here at Lewisham Hospital, there seems to be plenty of support from the public, including from Gillian, who turned up today to offer her support. I earn more than a junior doctor, and I'm just a tour guide. I know that, especially look at me, you know, at the age that I'm at, I think I might be needing there to be a health service, and there can't be a health service without junior doctors. Well, this is expected to be the most disruptive strike action in the NHS history, given that it's expected to last four days and comes as this trust and others place catch up following the pandemic and, of course, the last strike action by junior doctors, which happened in March. For now, consultants at some hospitals are stepping up to treat patients, but some feel the support junior doctors currently have won't last forever. I think it's going to be a struggle for the junior doctors to keep public understanding and sympathy. Um, I appreciate the, the, the public will feel that junior doctors are well paid in comparison to most, but their pay has been eroded. The government says the doctors' demands are unreasonable and won't begin negotiations until their starting position of a 35% pay increase is abandoned. Jimmy's procedure has been rescheduled for two weeks. He just hopes that goes ahead to avoid further suffering. Thomas McGill, BBC London.